Yo people, welcome back to another reaction video, and today we're doing a reaction to SML movie, Junior's Black Eye. So, looks like Korea's had fired enough of Junior's nonsense, as we all have. If I gave him something to, to make sure he don't do it again, give him a black eye. Which we all wish we could do if we could just jump through the screen and punch Junior in the face a lot until his skull's broken. If no one else was thinking the same thing as me, then you should totally do it. Anyway, let's see j this whole thing transpire. And watch the satisfying punch happen. Beat him real good. Ever wish you were faster? Mark. And more alert? Yo. Technically, he's not wrong. He hit the real B word. And you is a real B word. Oh, wow. Yeah, I guess I did. No, you just caught me off guard. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you were right, you little B. Uh, yeah, call me badass Cody. You hear that, class? Nobody mess with me. <laughs> all right, Grant. Yeah, that's right. Cody will own you all. If you, and if you want to, and if you disrespect the man, you're going to get slapped. And, and pretty much, I don't think he's a, I know I don't think he's against hitting women. Let's get back to the song. Junior fractured his ocular bone and his ocular bone connected to his maxilla bone and his maxilla bone. Oh. Junior, you're lucky I have another mechanical pencil. Otherwise, I'd beat your ass. Dude, it's not that serious. Calm down, bro. Shut oh, you want to get beat too? Oh, don't hit me. Ha ha, Junior. Cody gave you a big black eye. Hmm. <laughs> Say I call you off guard one more time, I, and I'll show you call a guard. What was that? Little bitch says what? Huh? Little wussy? You want these hands? Come get these. No, I don't want to fight. That's what I thought. Yeah, you better shut up. Shut up and know your place. I'm liking this. Ha ha, you have a black eye. What's with you and black eyes? Yeah, what's wrong with black eyes? Shut up. Oh, teacher, I think I'm just going to go home. Junior, why do you run? Why do you run like a real bitch? Because he is one. Chickens. 
Jesus. Oh, God, oh, water, please. Shut me. There's got to be something I can do to recover. Calm down, Jumbo Ronnie. The only way you can recover is if you give Cody a black eye. So you got to punch him. You're right, Shabby. If I give Cody a black eye, he can't make fun of me then. Yeah, now you're even. Okay, let me do it. Do that. <laughs> Silly Jumbo Ronnie. Okay, when Cody gets in here, I'm going to punch him right in the face. So uh, unless, he, unless he scares you. Punk. Ah, don't hit me, Cody. <laughs> That's what I thought. Yeah, call me Joe Cool. What's up, dude? Uh, hey, Joseph. What are we doing today? Whatever Joe Cool says. Wait, wait. Why is he wearing a shirt that says Joe Cool? That's what he wants us to call him from now on. Dude, I'm not calling him that. What, you're not a f mm. He's gonna beat you up? No, he's not gonna beat me up. I'm not afraid of him. <gasps> mm. Right. And I shouldn't be afraid of him either. Hey, Joe Cool. Yeah. Take this. <laughs> oh, oh, That's why. King thought. Yeah, it, yeah, and y'all you better stop before I make it darker. I'll backhand you. Right, don't try to hit me. I'm Joe Cool. Too cool for school. And I'll leave you laying in a pool of your own blood. Fuck it out of here. Dude, you're totally Cody's bitch now. Ha! <laughs> yep, you definitely, yeah, you definitely is. Because now you got two, two of them now, which makes you even more up. Which makes you the, the his mega B. Yep. <laughs> yep. And, and you know what? You've just you've you've already been you already just made yourself into a bee. You wanna be a little Haruto snitching bee? I don't want that to happen. Yeah. So what then you best keep your mouth shut. I do. Well there's really nothing you can do, kid. Well, you know, this all reminds me of the time I got two black eyes. You did? Oh yeah. So this one time I was an ant and we were collecting food for the colony because we were afraid of these grasshoppers and we were giving them our food so they didn't eat us. So we were collecting all the food. Wait, what was this? Bugs Life? Which by the way is a good movie. Check it out. It's good. Bugs Life is awesome. Food on this big leaf, and I had like this contraption on my back, and I accidentally dropped it and knocked over a rock, and then all the food went over this cliff, and then the grasshoppers got there and boy were they mad. Because they were like, where's our food? And we were like, well, we had it, but it's gone now. So then they gave us another day to get their food, and then they got eaten by a bird. And hold on, no, this didn't happen to me. This is the plot of a bug's life. See, I'm doing that thing I do sometimes where I get my life confused with movies I've seen. I I'm sorry, I, I remember what happened now. Yeah. But Bug's Life is a good movie. So understandable. So I, I, uh, me and my wife, right, we were old. And we were living in our dream home, and it was beautiful. Okay, now you're just referencing Up, which is also a good movie. Check that one out, too. But then she died, and it was very, very sad. And I wanted to see this waterfall for some reason, so I tied a bunch of balloons to the roof of my house because I wanted to bring my house with me. And then there was this Boy Scout in the house, and then there was a talking dog. Wait, no, damn it. This is this is the movie Up. I'm, I'm describing the movie Up. That didn't happen to me either. I'm, I'm sorry. Hold on. I, I got it now. I remember. So Let me guess. The next one's going to be Ratatouille. I was a little kid, and I was laying in bed. Oh, my... Oh, Monster Zinc. That one's good too. I like that. Mo I love Monster Zinc. And and I even like the sequel, Monsters at Work, which I'm I'm ready for season two. And I was afraid of the dark, right? And then all of a sudden, my closet opens, and this big fuzzy monster named Sully comes out, and I call him Kitty because I'm just a little kid. And I think he's a kitty. And then him and his friend Mike Wazowski help hide me on the scare floor from this creepy salamander guy named Randall because he did not like me. He was trying to suck my screams out because you know scream is what powered their world and wait damn it no this is the plot of monsters inc uh, i'm sorry i got it so so i was in college and i was trying to become the top scare damn it, this is <laughs> now you're just doing monsters university which you should also get to check out but it's another sequel or pre pre prequel monsters inc university I, I'm, I'm sorry i'm sorry I, I got it i just i have to pee that's what it is i'm very distracted Hold on, let me pee and i'll be right back all right, I'm back from the bathroom, I peed, I remember what happened, now I got the story. Okay, so I was a race car driver, right? And I came into a three-way tie- Okay, now you're just racing cars. ...with these two other races, and then we decide that we're gonna have a tiebreaker race in California. So then on the way there- Wait, uh, 
Is he referencing cars this time, or is this actually happening? My truck falls asleep, and then I wake up in the middle of the desert, and then I meet Larry the Cable Guy as a tow truck. No, 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 th this is cars. This is the plot of cars. I, I'm sorry, I got it. I got it this time. I remember that. Reminded. Dude, check out cars. Okay, okay. He's referencing these g good Disney movies, which we should check out afterwards. Okay, the real story. Okay, so I heard Comic-Con was coming into town, right? It's this big convention where everybody dresses up, and I think, oh, that sounds fun. So I decided to go dressed as a box of Cheez-Its, because I didn't really understand the theme, and I thought we were all just going dressed as stuff we like. So I show up as a box of Cheez-Its, and I immediately know I made a big mistake, because then I see everybody dressed up as all this nerdy stuff, and then I think, no, you know what? That's okay. I'm going to rock the hell out of this Cheez-It costume. So I go in, and then this nerd dressed like Jar Jar Binks starts making fun of me, and he's like, you so stupid. You so dressed like a box of Cheez-Its. And I say, hey man, don't dog on my cheese. It's they're actually pretty good. And he says, you so dumb. Me so think cheese nips are better. And I'm like, okay, cheese nips are shit. And then he hits me right in the eye, and I fall back on my back, and I can't get up because I'm dressed like a box of cheese. It's and I can't roll over because I'm a box of cheese. It's so then he gets on top of me and he keeps hitting me, and he gives me two black eyes. And then this stormtrooper has to come pull him off me. And by this time, everybody's pointing at me and laughing because I just got my ass kicked by Jar Jar Binks. And then the firefighters have to come and pry me out of my costume with the jaws of life and I am so embarrassed by all of this so I decide to pull the fire alarm you know and ruin everybody's time the sprinklers turn on everybody's costume gets wet they have to cancel the whole convention because of me so then I just go home and eat a box of Cheez-Its so how do I get over these two black eyes um pull the fire alarm my house doesn't have a fire alarm well uh that's all I then wait till school got you could try having some Cheez-Its, but that's it. Sorry! This didn't help at all! Ugh. Thomas, I don't know what to do. Everyone keeps making fun of me and my two black eyes. Hey, nerd, give me your train. But Joe Cool, it's my favorite toy! No, that's what Joe Cool wants. But Joe Cool, please let me keep playing with him. Do you want a broken nose to match your two black eyes? Yes, give it to him. And, and most likely, he'd break his teeth, too. No. You can do nothing but suffer. And also, I'm pretty sure that was Edward or Gordon. There's me. I just embarrass him, and everyone will forget about my new black eyes. But what can I do? <gasps> wow, Junior, you have two black eyes? Cody taught you another lesson? Oh, no. That's crazy. Hey guys, Joe Cool is here. <laughs> no, no guys, it wasn't me. It, it was a whoopee cushion. No, dude, that was a real one. That sounded wet. Ew, Cody, that's disgusting. No, 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 but the whoopee cushion. Really? The whoopee cushion's right there. Man, y'all stupid. Ew, Cody, you shit your pants? Ew. Ew! Everyone thinks I shit my pants. Mommy. Junior, was it you that put the whoopee cushion in my chair? Yeah. But Junior, why would you do that? You humiliated me. Because you humiliated me by giving me a black eye in front of the whole class. Uh, yeah, but you broke my mechanical pencil. I didn't know you like I didn't know you could break by putting in the sharpener. And plus, you had another one. But yeah, but that blue one was my favorite. Listen, Cody, I'm sorry for doing that to you, but I just wanted to show you what it would feel like to embarrass me by giving me a black eye. Yeah, being made fun of isn't fun. Okay, I won't beat you up anymore. And I won't put whoopee cushions in your chair anymore. Okay. Really? Anyway, ask one question. Have you ever been embarrassed multiple times? Although I... I'll, although, the only thing I do is just hope karma hits the person who did it to me. Yeah, because I'm just going to be the bigger man, not doing anything. Cause if you just, cause you're you're just gonna waste your time making fun of people, you're just sad. Anyway, well, you have you guys ever been embarrassed? Let me know in the comment section below, and hope you guys like and subscribe. Subscribe to me. Subscribe to some of the rest of the crew mentioned down below in the description. Subscribe to my friends' channels. Subscribe to my YouTube friends' channels. Subscribe to my other accounts. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye. And if you hate, I will report you with my back hand.